Hello, welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with a 3 eye um, ceramic abutment that has fractured uh, and also the head of the screw is fractured off as well. Now, this is the uh, molar of tooth number, it's in a number 31 position. So this is what we're looking at as far as what the patient had in her hand. And you can see that there is a ceramic abutment component. It's a screw retained. So there was a enough quality time placed with that and what happened it happened to fail right at the interface between the uh, implant fixture and that of the ceramic abutment so uh, our mission today is to go in and uh, get not only the screw out but also the, the remnants of the fractured uh, abutment ceramic component let's show you what that looks like if we zoom in, you'll see now the exact component. And so you can see there's a hex configuration. And if we just take any instrument, I'm just going to take like a scaler, and I can actually move the screw head, you'll see the screw shaft move. Uh, it's very mobile. Okay, so it won't screw out unless we can unless we can get what's holding it in out of there. It looks like cement of some type. So first thing I'm gonna do is just check to see what that is, what's what is holding it in. Uh, we did take a laser and we did remove the laser. Remove the tissue with the laser. And now we're going in and dry and we can see there's a, a space in between the shaft of the screw itself and that of the abutment right. and that's just some material uh, that's all it does, bio burden, food, etc. Alright, so we're going to use uh, some of our pre-made solutions. This one's tartar and stain. So we'll put one drop of tartar and stain. That's what we use for our patients. Uh, works great with appliances that go in the mouth. So here's a fixed appliance, removable appliances, of course. So it goes in. See if that penetrates a little bit around there. You can see the change of color right away. It goes from a clear to a an opaque color. So to get some more in there, I'm going to have my dental assistant now going to just turn off her suction, but she'll stay retracting. She's just going to turn it off. And now that'll allow more solution to go in and penetrate. We're also looking not only for a change in color, but also if there are any little bubbles that come up, anything percolating up through that, that area. And we can go in with a micro suction tip and actually pull out a lot of that. Whatever you want to call it, we call it bio burden. It just sounds sounds pretty good. It sounds professional. <laughs> All right, but it's a combination of things. So, what's holding that in there? What's the cause? The cause and effect. We don't know. Here comes the microsuction. This goes in now along the side. Let's see if we can pull anything up. Nothing wants to come up. All right. Is it threaded? In other words, is that, you know, if it is a zimmer, it might be something that's already threaded. So we can maybe go in now and do a maneuver with a fork instrument, special instrument instruments that I've created, cotton pliers. All we want to do is just kind of lasso around the top a 
of the screw itself. The shaft of the screw just kind of lasts all around it. Yep, here it comes. Bad taste. You good? Sorry. Okay, that would be very steady now going in with an instrument. And let's just give it a turn. Trying to see if it is threaded by making the turns. Yeah. And that's part of the issue. Ah, it is coming up. Well, I can see it start see the threads coming up, pushing up. Yep, so we'll stay on the same track, Doc. You're doing fine. Okay, so it is an internal threaded system. So it's got to be a Zimmer. It's got to be a Zimmer, not a Biomat 3i, although the companies have joined each other. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, one thing I've learned in this profession, don't early celebrations. you just got to stay the course. Something looks obvious, may, may not look obvious. Uh, minutes. Uh, so this is the fork instrument. It's, it's just got little teeth on the end of it, a four-pronger, and made to fit over the shaft. Uh, nothing on the market yet. Uh, should patent it. You heard the lady. Should patent it. Take another look <laughs> as we slowly remove. See how it's coming up now? Now we should. Yeah, it's a clear path now. It's coming up. Okay. Once we get the screw out, then we can go after the abutment. That's no problem. We'll get that abutment out. I've dealt with ceramic before. Uh, you gotta, you gotta kind of divide it and get it to break up into little pieces, and then it comes out. That's the ceramic, without nicking, of course, any metal. That's the tricky part. Almost out. So if we get the screw out first, so it is a Zimmer, it's threaded. It's coming slowly. We're turning it slowly. Some of the uh, ceramic fragments are coming off now. You can see them. So that means we should go in there with some tartar and stain. Maybe a little bit of oil, machine oil would help. A little. Okay. Well, you almost say, well, why can't I just take my finger? I'd say if I can even put my finger. No, there's no way I can well, try to reach that and turn it. I would have to shrink my, f well, hey, there it comes. Look out. Yeah, I got, yeah. It's coming. It's not not that easy, but I got, I got the instrument. I'll just use that. Slowly, just give it a couple turns. There's one full turn. And before you know it, it is out, and we have to suction it up immediately once it comes out. Uh, let's see, I get a good turn. That's kind of the same. So let's take a pair of cotton pliers and see if it wants to come straight up. It does, and there it is. We got the screw out. Yep, we'll take photos of all that stuff. We'll save it. Yep, I save everything. Okay, so that was, if you look straight down inside, you can actually see the ceramic component, and then there's the threaded metal. So there you have it. So let's, let's not do anything until we pre-soak. <laughs> so I gotta pre-soak this with tartar and stain. This is where it gets to be. 
more of an advantage now. We can have a straight open access and now we can go all the way to the base of the fixture and look at all that stuff coming out now. That's all trapped underneath. And now as time is on our side, as we always say, you know, more time than lives when you're driving. Um, and with implants, more time on your side works really well because it's soaking, it's it's helping, it's lubricating, it's also uh, creating a more of a gap between two surfaces. Uh, it can get it to float up, boy, that would be ideal, right? And you never know. I always say that, you know, you never know. Uh, it is loose, so we got it. We didn't have to work as hard. Uh, because we work smart, right? You work smart, you don't work hard, you work smart. All right, it's starting to show some movement. Uh, hopefully it's not locked in, locked in, and we just go in and just let it soak. While we're letting it soak, I'll uh, take a few more photographs and be right back.